very unique, especially in classics. 1984 Dodge D150 Royal SE Power Ram Prospector 4x4 regular cab, clean Carfax, no accidents indicated, a little over I believe 128,000 it was on it, original Nebraska truck, and uh, kind of point some things out as we go around this, you can tell it has not been up in the Northland its entire life, that's for sure. Let's take a look at the grill first off. Grill, this is one of those trucks where I can see driving it the way it is, having some fun, local roll-ins, cruise-ins, or maybe you want to take it to the next level. Either way. Uh, something else I want you to know is this truck's going to come with a three-month, 500-mile warranty protection plan. That's included in the purchase. That may be extendable out to 10 years. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. There's a hood scoop that'd make Parnelli Jones proud right there. Check out all the still pictures, uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. Cooper radials, plenty of tread left on those. Now, when I mentioned Nebraska truck, take a look at down here. Yeah, you're going to see some surface rust where the paint's chipped. But look at these lower rockers around the cab corners. On the bedside, wheel wells. You don't find them like that up in the Midwest if they spent their entire life there, that's for sure. We'll get around to the driver's side, check out the interior a little closer. Start it up, let you hear it run. Speaking of which, underneath the hood, 360 V8 or 5.9 liter. Paired up with an automatic transmission. Also nicely equipped power steering, power brakes, AC. AC looks like it has a newer compressor on. Kicks on and off. Lows cold. Another thing to remember is we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation. But as you can see, the box is not perfect. I mean, there's nicks, dings, scratches. You can tell the truck's been driven and used. But... How often do you see them that solid? Slip around to the driver's side and let's check it out too. Another thing to remember is open door policy. If you can't make it, look at this one yourself. You want a third party inspector to come check it out, give you his opinion. Maybe check out the cab corners, how it drives, engine bay. Go right ahead. And you can check out all the still pictures at uniqueclassiccars.com. All right, let's check out this lower bed again. And again, you can see where there's some surface rust. That's solid. That's your little rock chips and what have you here and there. Same with the cab corners. Solid. Take a look at the upper portion of the driver's side here. And again, you can see some paint is flaked off and wore off there. Maybe a scratch here or there, but guess what? There's no bondo busting out from behind that or filler down to metal. And interior, I'm assuming the Prospector was maybe a little nicer equipped model. We do have power windows here. Uh, wipers do work. I've had those working. It's got an aftermarket radio in it. I've had that work. Um, like I said, AC, compressor's newer. That kicked on. Cool. Could use headliner. Heads up there, sliding rear window, and seating surface. Let's go ahead and fire this up. So there's your miles, 128, 270. And again, clean car fact, no accidents indicated, Nebraska truck. So I put in an aftermarket tachometer there, as you can see. In working radio. If you know what I mean, and I think you Check with a sales consultant, too. If you call in, uh, I believe there's receipts and everything in with a folder on this truck, as far as with the engine. Be sure, check with the sales consultant on that and let you hear it run here a second. Sounds good. Up at the front so we can at least check out that engine bay. And uh, then we'll wrap up this video. Alright, underside of the hood. Maybe Parnelli Jones wouldn't be proud of that hood scoop. Here it is, 5.9 liter 360. Smooth runner. Looks like we 
have HDI ignition back there, again, power steering, power brakes. There's a battery disconnected. Look inside, right here. Newer compressor. Looks like it's been converted to from R12 on 34A. Man, that thing sounds good. Dodge D-150 Royal SE Prospector 4x4 regular cab Remember, it's going to come with that 3 month 500 mile warranty protection plan May be extendable up to 10 years Consult with your sales associate 507-386-1726 UniqueClassicCars.com We do consider trades Financing is available And of course we have assistive transportation Hey! Did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Today we have a 1984 Dodge 1500 pickup. Both our blinker indicators are working. This is an automatic on the column, so it's easy to drive. This is a 4x4 with the shifter on the floor for the four wheel drive. Our tachometer mounted to the column does work well. The other thing that does work in this truck is air conditioning. I wouldn't say it's ice cold, but the AC is working. Radio is working good. You get a nice ride from this truck. You can feel the road as much as you should with a truck, with truck tires. But it's a nice, smooth ride. Brakes are working well. Our fuel gauge is reading just under half. The volts are a little over half, which means it's charging. And the coolant temperature is a quarter way up the gauge. Our speedometer does work. Under the dash, we have an oil pressure gauge mounted aftermarket, and that idles right around 20. And when we're going down the road, we're seeing 40, 45 pounds. Love the Mopar scoop on the hood. Got a little rattle out of the shifter there for the full wheel drive. It's a good running truck. Starts up and idles right away. Sounds good. Check it out at uniqueclassiccars.com.